Hey, what is up, everyone? Happy Tuesday, August 15th, 2023. A really nice day today. Took advantage of this down move in the markets. Plus $1,302. So, gotta love that. Started off with uh, Baba, a little volume runner, with a very, very nice uh, profit there, 261. And then Meta plus 440 on a continuation runner. That's really where I took took advantage of a little bit of a flush. Uh, I tried a long in Amazon and ended up uh, getting rid of it at the right time and it's pretty much a scratch trade there. I'll show you what I did, but uh, nonetheless green. And then ended with a really nice Tesla uh, uh, down move on a continuation runner as well. So <clears throat> here we go, let's go Baba. So big volume bar here, and um, it kind of started to bounce up a little bit, um, but I, I, you know, I just jumped in right away. The market was in the middle of a flush, and so I just jumped in right there, and uh, it pretty much, it pretty much moved down for me right away. So um, I just, I scaled out of half, got out of a quarter, got out of another quarter, and it kind of bounced. Kind of rolled back over, um, and then it ended up just starting to chop here, and I ended up just cutting it right here. It looked like it wanted to maybe um, go a little higher, and you can see. So that was a good out. I, you know, I would have I would have bailed anyway um, if it got above this consolidation, but I, I went ahead and just cut it right there, and you can see that was a good out. So. Uh, yeah, I traded really good today. As, as I look at this now, man, that was a good out. Uh, Meta. Um, so I played it as an early continuation runner. I, I don't usually get the continuation into the continu continuation runners this early, but it bounced, it popped, it bounced. Or, or, I'm sorry, it flushed, it bounced, it flushed, it bounced. And so I got short right here. You know, everything was getting weak. VIX was spiking. So I got I got short right there. I thought, well, this is a low risk trade. If it pushes above this bar, then I would just cut it. And it came down, and I just scaled out all the way down. Um, and then as it same thing, it, it started to bounce a little bit, and all I had was uh, I had just two contracts left. So I just cut it um, right there. As I didn't want, I didn't want to sit through a bounce, and so. Nice trade there. Amazon. So I played this mighty 90 in Amazon. So I had this volume bar bigger than the previous one. And it was coming down to this pivot. So I was like, well, I'll get long here and just see what it does. And it gave me one green bar. And I was about a nickel from getting out of half. And some other, some other stocks like Microsoft, Netflix, um, they were – they were um, giving me two green bars, and, and, and Amazon just couldn't give me another one, and things just felt heavy. So I just cut it right there. I just cut it because this bar never really got green. So I just like, man, this is a mighty 90. I think we're in a flush here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. I'm, I'm a little above where, what I got in at, and you can see that was a good out. Now, it ended up giving two green bars. Um, it would have been probably a small loser if I would have – Follow the rules and waited for two green bars, but you know I just didn't know how far this was going to flush. And so uh, when I saw when I saw other stocks given two green bars and Amazon wasn't, I just I just bailed. Tesla, so I got short right here. Think you know it's like push down a little consolidation, push down a little consolidation. So I got sh I got short right here, and um, actually it was right there. And then it pushed up, and right at the top of this consolidation, I went ahead and added to it. So just an absolutely phenomenal add because then it, before that bar finished, it pushed down. I got out of half, got out of a quarter, got out of another, and then I had um, – what I have? Four contracts left you know, after the add. So you know, position got pretty big whenever I added to it up here. And so – I went ahead and just cut those last four right here, 
and you can see another good out because after I cut it, this bar pushed up even higher and higher. And so, you know, it may, it may roll back over on this pivot, but you know, I had a good day going. So I was like, man, I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and cut my final contracts in Tesla, not get greedy. And you know, if I'd have gotten greedy, I probably would have had maybe a plus, I don't know, 900 day, which was still would have been good. But you know, sometimes when you're not greedy, you can, you know, finish, you know, a lot higher than um, what you would have if you would have tried to just eke some more out. So cutting it led me to this plus 1302. So love seeing that. Um, always take a four-figure day. So I'll be back on Thursday. So see you in a couple days. Peace.